this question is falls under calculus so this one we have dy by dx given is equals to 3x minus 1 x square now one thing is very very important the first question is find the equation of normal to the curve the name of the curve is c the name of the point is p so we have to find the equation of the normal now for that information what we need is equation of line doesn't matter what line it is the equation of a line is we need a point x1 y1 and we need the gradient of the point m so y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 this is the equation of the line any line be it normal line or any line now we need the gradient the gradient rule for this the gradient rule is if you have a curve and at a particular point if you have a normal drawn to the curve remember it's a gradient of a normal line to the curve so the gradient of the normal so gradient of normal to curve is negative reciprocal of dy by dx which is the gradient of the curve itself so when we have to find the equation of the normal line so what we need first of all is we first of all need to find the gradient now the gradient dy by dx is given so we don't have to differentiate the curve we don't need the curve the dy by dx meaning the gradient of the curve is given so a common error is to differentiate this again you don't need to do that if you break this down uh, it would be a minus b whole squared so a squared minus 2 a is thrice x b is 1 plus b squared so this is going to be 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 if you break it down you don't need to differentiate this again because this is already the gradient so they told you to find the equation of the normal at the point p so at p the x coordinate is 1 so the gradient dy by dx is going to be I can either put it here or here so 9 into 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus 1 and this is going to be 9 minus 6 plus 1 which is going to be 9 plus 1 10 10 minus 6 is going to be 4 so the gradient of the curve is 4 so we need to know the gradient of the normal so gradient of the normal of the normal is equals to negative reciprocal minus 1 by 4 negative reciprocal so this is the gradient of the normal now we know the point P so we need a point P so the point P is the point where the normal is on the curve so we know the point we know the gradient we can easily find the equation of the normal so equation of normal line y minus y1 the y coordinate of the point p is 4 the y coordinate is 4 and the x coordinate is 1 so y minus 4 equals to m which is minus 1 by 4 x minus x coordinate is 1 so if you cross multiply 4 into y minus 4 I'm cross multiplying you always need integer coefficient so minus 1 into x is minus x minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 so this would be 4y minus 4 for the 16 equals to minus x plus 1 we can simplify it in any way we want we can write it as 4y plus x equals to 16 plus 1 17 unless they mention anything as the format we can write it in any way but it is recommended that you write it as integer coefficient instead of fraction so this was the first question so the next one is find the equation of the curve now the name of the curve is capital letter C it's not a point it's the name of the curve now if you remember the fundamental rule of calculus if dy by dx is given and if you want to find y it means by the fundamental rule of calculus it means you need to do integration so remember calculus the fundamental rule or law of calculus is integration this thing 
is the opposite of differentiation so integration is the opposite of differentiation this is the fundamental rule of calculus so if you have dy by dx given and if you integrate that that is equals to y similarly if you have f prime x given same as dy by dx if you integrate that you'll get fx this is the fundamental rule of calculus now in our question it is given that dy by dx is 3x minus 1 whole squared and you have to find the equation of the curve meaning you have to find y so in order to do that we have to start with dy by dx equals to 3x minus 1 whole squared therefore y equals to integration of 3x minus 1 whole squared dx now if you break this down before integrating if you just simplify this it would be 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 just breaking it down as a minus b whole squared now integration so the basics of integration says if you integrate something the power will increase by 1 and you write that below so 9 would remain 9 so x squared would be x cubed by 3 minus 6 would be 6 it would be 6 x squared by 2 and 1 would become x and remember the constant so this would cancel 3 3 is a 9 this would cancel uh, 2 3 is a 6 so now we have to find the value of c in order to find the value of c now in order to find the value of c we need a point now the point is given remember the point p at p we know that x equals to 1 and y equals to 4 this coordinate is given so if you put it here so at y if you put 4 and at x if you put 1 so 1 cubed minus 3 1 squared plus 1 plus c so it would be 4 equals to 3 minus 3 plus 1 plus c this 3 this 3 cancels off and becomes 0 and if you bring this one to the other side it would be 4 minus 1 3 so c would be equals to 3 so now you can write it out as therefore y equals to 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus c this is the curve and that's what they asked for so the next one is question number c now question number c this question is they're mentioning that show that there is no point on the curve such that the tangent is parallel to the line this now let's go step by step they're saying the tangent is parallel to the line y equals to 1 minus 2x now gradient of this line in the format of point intercept form so the gradient of this line is minus 2 the coefficient of x so the first thing that we can write here let me move a bit here so question number c the first thing we can write gradient of line equals to minus 2 this is the first information the next information that we have is the tangent is parallel to this line so this to this line the gradient of the tangent they have to be the same because parallel line have the same gradient so we can say gradient of tangent is also equals to minus 2 since they are parallel so there is a rule there is a gradient rule where we say gradient rule if two lines are parallel like this then their gradients are equal m1 equals to m2 and there is another rule y equals to mx plus c if you can write the equation in this format in as the intercept slope format then this coefficient of x is the gradient so from this rule we can say that the gradient of that line is minus 2 by looking at the equation and by knowing that the tangent is parallel to this line so we can say that this is going to be minus 2 as well so if you want to know what it looks like it looks something like this uh, suppose we have a line here and there is a curve somewhere around here 
and this tangent is parallel to this curve let me it's not that good let me redraw it suppose you have a you have a curve here and you have a tangent here and there is another line here parallel to that tangent so this tangent is parallel to this line this line has a gradient minus 2 so this tangent will also have a gradient of minus 2 these two lines are parallel now remember another rule that gradient rule now if you have a tangent to a curve then the gradient rule says this gradient is equals to dy by dx for tangents and you also know that the gradient of a curve is dy by dx so now the point is once we know that the tangent has gradient minus 2 so and we also know that this tangent and this curve has the same gradient so then we can write therefore gradient of curve dy by dx is equals to minus 2 as well so these are the gradient rules so we can say that the gradient of the curve is dy by dx as well now the question is if you know the gradient you can find the point now they are telling us to find the point so let's try to find the point hence remember dy by dx was 3x minus 1 whole square this was given so if you try to solve this now this cannot be done because 3x minus 1 if you send the square to the other side it will be plus minus square root of minus 2 now there's a mathematical restriction uh, we cannot have a square root of a negative number so this is not possible we cannot calculate this so if this is not possible so there's no point we can actually calculate the point means the point is unreal so this was the question show that the point there is no point on the curve so we have to show that there is no point on the curve since we cannot calculate the point when the gradient is minus 2 you can say therefore there is no point on the curve so that's the question and this is uh, a calculus sum mainly because we have to do integration that's the main sum the final one is question number 10 this question falls under the quadratic format and question number a is express this as completing the square format so we have fx equals to x squared minus 6x plus 18 so to express it like this means express as completing the square format so a square minus 2a so b has to be 3 because 3 to the 6 3 plus b square and we have to cancel this off so minus 3 squared plus 18 so we have x squared oh let me correct it this is a minus b whole squared so a minus b is 3 whole squared this would be minus 9 and this would be plus 18 this would be a minus 3 a minus 3 whole squared x minus 3 whole squared 19 minus 8 is plus 9 so this is completing the square format now the question was after that we have to do the sketching so let me do B here it will be convenient so I can compare it now in order to sketch so we need to know first of all where does it cut the y-axis where does it cut the x-axis and we have to know what does it turning where the turning point is now remember one thing about turning point if you have completing the square format suppose p x minus q whole squared plus r you have to remember then the turning point then the turning point can easily be determined by looking at it so the x coordinate would be the opposite of what we have with x so minus q means q and the y coordinate would be same as before so q r now if it was plus this would be minus q r so if this was plus it would be minus q and r would be the same so the x coordinate is reversed and the value of the y coordinate is like that so we can do the sketching very easily here so first we need to know where it's got the x-axis so at x-axis y equals to 0 so we can now use this so this is 
x minus 3 whole squared plus 9 equals to 0 of course we could have used this format but since we have expressed it in this format it is easier and simpler to do it in this format it's much more easier so this is going to be x minus 3 whole squared equals to minus 9 therefore x minus 3 plus minus square root of minus 9 now this is not possible we have seen this before square root of a negative number is not possible so it means it doesn't have any values of x it means it doesn't cut at the x-axis now y-axis at y-axis x equals to 0 so y equals to now this whole thing if you put x equals to 0 so 0 minus 3 whole squared plus 9 so it is going to be minus 3 whole squared plus 9 this would be 9 plus 9 equals to 18 so it cuts at the y-axis 0 comma 18 now the turning point so the turning point is going to be opposite of what is here so it would be 3 and this would be 9 so now let's do the sketching so it is something that does not cut on the x-axis so it is above the x-axis it cuts the y-axis at the point 18 so it will be like this this would be 18 and the turning point has x coordinate 3 y coordinate 9 so this would be the sketch so the next one the final one is question number C question number C is very simple we have a line with equation y equals to 41 that's a horizontal line and we have the curve so the curve is we can either use this format which I recommend because it's always easier or we can use the original one so if we use this one it would be y equals to x minus 3 square plus 9 this is equation 2 now you have to solve this and find only the x coordinate find the x coordinate not the coordinates only the x coordinate so let's try to solve this by the question uh, x minus 3 whole squared plus 9 equals to 41 this would be x minus 3 whole squared equals to 41 minus 9 41 minus 9 is going to be uh, uh, 31 32 so this would be 32 so therefore x minus 3 square root plus minus 32 square root 32 therefore x would be equals to 3 plus minus square root of 32 now we need to simplify this further because in the question it was said find plus and it has to be square root 2 so how can we write as this one as so 3 plus minus square root of 32 32 is uh, 8 4 is a 32 so we can write it as 4 as 2 square into 8 is 4 to the 8 so 2 square into 2 so we want to write it as square so it can be 3 plus minus if you bring 2 square outside the square root it would be 2 if you bring this 2 square outside the square it would be 2 so 2 to the 4 square root of 32 so the answer should be the plus 1 so the x coordinate is 3 plus 4 square root of 2 so this is the answer so let me remind you it is very very important to be familiar with the structure so you should know what to expect and you should know how to answer that and it is very very important to have a clear understanding of what questions would be given in the exam and for that the syllabus is extremely important